Small-scale rice farmers in Mwea in Kirinyaga County have over the years registered low produce. However, a project to help farmers improve their rice yield is taking shape in the area. As our very own Daniel Satyana tells us in this week's Smart Farm. Rice is Kenya's third staple food after maize and wheat. And what a better place for us to learn about rice farming than Mwea. A constituency which produces 80% of the country's annual rice, estimated to be about 110,000 tons. John Wainaina, one of the farmers at the expansive Mwea irrigation scheme, has depended on the crop his entire life. Mashamba yangu, ekali ya kwanza diyo hili, ya pili, diyo hii, na ya tatu diyo iku hapo mbele ya hii. Yangu ni mashamba matatu hapa, ingawa hile iku mpale mbele, diyo ni mempotia my son, on his three acres, John previously harvested not less than 30 bags of rice. Pale mwanzo, rotafisho ni kisafa anywa, hapo kazi inaanza hile muhimu na tena ngumu. Kwa sababu wakati wote ni uko kwa maji, uko natuwa kwe kwe. Sentiments shared by Jen Munene, who owns four acres of rice farm. Kwa hivyo ya kalimoja, tukiangalia vizuri. In uh, Garim, almost 70,000. Okay. Lucky for them, things have changed for the better, thanks to a project dubbed Two Scale, an agribusiness incubator program funded by the Dutch government. The project sees farmers use resilient rice varieties adapted to various environments. It also provides rice specific fertilizer blends to the farmers. As recipients, John and Jane have managed to improve their yields. Kwa ikamonja wakati ule kuna kukuna mazao mazuri, unaweza kufuna 30 bags, from 30 bags to 35. Bag ya kiasi ya kilo miya monja. Meongeza mavuno mpaka gunia sita, saidi. Through the project, the farmers are assured of a market through a cooperative scheme. And this has translated into some good earnings for the farmers. The farmer will bring the rice, yes, then our clerks will qualify or praise that paddy. Number one, we look for the variety. Which variety are we talking about here? We're talking about basmati or the famous pishori. We usually receive that rice as uh, anything below 70% as our Mr. Content. Yeah. In case we want to dry it further for us to mill, we're taking off from 17% to 11%. Like this year, we paid our farmers at 80 shillings. Per kilo. But the market is not without its share of unscrupulous traders who blend imported pishori with local produce. Hawa watu wabao wanaleta hii mchele, wana imported mchele kutoka Pakistan, Egypt na kuingine kote, michele yao ni ahadi ya chini. Na kwa hivu wakija wanachanganya na hii yetu, ati hivu wajitegeneze pesa, lakini sisi wanatuharibia. Kwa sababu yule hajui, atanunuwa hile akifikiria ni hile ya moya. Kenya currently produces an estimated 140,000 tons of rice every year against a consumption rate of 540,000 tons, meaning the space is still wide open for more farmers and stakeholders to join the fray. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.